Making this peanut butter ice cream at home is so easy and the results speak for themselves. It's one of the best ice creams I've ever made, comes packed with nutrition, it's smooth and creamy and all that without frozen bananas. So if you don't have an ice cream maker like me, then this recipe is for you. All you need is one bowl and a mixer. Let's start with the milk and to make it creamy I suggest two options. Simple canned coconut milk, make sure you get a full fat version, which makes very rich ice cream. And to balance all that fat, I like to use this old slurry, which I make by combining one part rolled oats and two parts milk. Any milk is fine. I let the oats soften there for about two hours, then strain through the mash and press with a spoon to release more of the oat juice. It's still runny, but three to four minutes over medium heat will make it nice and creamy, full of delicious oat flavor. So I add half coconut milk, half oat slurry. For nice and intense peanut butter flavor I use natural 100% peanut butter, unsweetened, unsalted. And I would suggest you use room temperature peanut butter, it will make the blending easier. Now for sweetness I use dates in the form of this sweet paste you can easily make in your blender, I have this all the time in my fridge. Dates make this ice cream sweet enough, healthy enough, but also improve the creamy texture. I also add some vanilla which helps to prevent the ice crystals and pinch of salt because my peanut butter was unsalted. Mix everything until smooth and combined and scrape down the sides if needed. And you don't need an ice cream maker, it will be easy to scoop. Just cover with some plastic wrap and place it in the freezer, but stir the mixture every 30 minutes for next 2 hours, or until it reaches the desired ice cream consistency. If you love soft serve ice cream, you can enjoy right away, or you can transfer to a container, tightly cover and freeze overnight. As you can see, this ice cream is not icy, but really creamy and easy to scoop. You'll love it. I top mine with some chopped peanuts and drizzle with melted dark chocolate. It's not necessary, but I encourage you to do the same. This easy peanut butter ice cream is both rich in flavor and texture, so much better than store-bought version. It has no sugars and artificial flavors, but has taste and creaminess of the real thing, and it's really fun to make. But if you're looking for low calorie summer dessert, make this chocolate frozen yogurt. It's great replacement for ice cream and you love the flavor and texture. Check out that recipe now. Thank you so much for watching. See you in another video. Stay healthy, stay happy.